Okay, what we are studying is moment of inertia. To find out moment of inertia of a body for different type of axis, when we change the axis, how much the moment of inertia will change. To calculate it, we take help of two theorems. And one theorem is theorem of perpendicular axis. First, we will discuss that. First, we have to understand what is a perpendicular axis. Now, suppose we have a disc. Now, this disc can be rotated in three ways. I told you. One is about this axis. This axis is perpendicular to the plane. Other is this axis. This is a diameter in the plane. Perpendicular to it is this red one. This is also in the plane. And here it will rotate like this. So that is moment of inertia Iz. I make the disc here. This. this disc has got this one diameter and perpendicular to this another diameter. This let's call xx. This is yy and there is one this one. This axis is zz. So now we rotate it about z axis that is this way. Its moment of inertia will be there. Let us call it iz. Rotate it this way. It will have certain moment of inertia. Let's call it ix. And perpendicular to this. This was x. This is y. Perpendicular to this. This I rotate. It has a moment of inertia. Let's call it iy. What is the relation between all these three? Where all these three are perpendicular to each other. One is perpendicular to the plane. Other two are in the plane. So, the relation is that this one has, when rotate about this, this moment of inertia is equal to sum of these two moment of inertias. This is the relation. This is perpendicular to the plane, perpendicular to both this axis. Therefore, this is known as theorem of perpendicular axis. That's all. So, can we prove it? Yes, there is a little proof. Uh, if you are interested, you can always find it. Let us take a single point here, which has got mass m. This point has got certain coordinate. x coordinate, how do we measure? The distance from y, perpendicular distance from y in the direction of x. This is x coordinate, x. Now, I take this point here and rotate it this way, about y-axis, this. What it will give me? It will give me moment of inertia. How much will be that? mx square. This is moment of inertia about which axis? y-axis. Because it is rotating about y, so I write it i y m x square. Now, this particle has y coordinate equal to y. What is y coordinate? The distance parallel to y axis. This is y coordinate. So, now this is y coordinate. If I rotate it this way about x, then what will be the moment of inertia of this? m multiplied by square of the radius. Radius is y. m into y square this way. What is that? Moment of inertia about which axis? About x axis. So that will be m y square. That is moment of inertia about x axis. Okay. Now. I take this distance. This distance is equal to r. 
and here about the z axis rotated this way how much is the radius r then that will give mr square that is moment of inertia about which axis z axis so i will write it pi z that is equal to mr square okay now by pythagoras theorem we know that r is equal to x plus y x plus y okay so by pythagoras r square is equal to x square plus y square multiply every one with m m r square is equal to m x square plus m y square and m r square is i z is equal to i y plus i x this is theorem of perpendicular axis this is proof of it but please remember i z is equal to i y plus i x but i y is not equal to i z plus i x which one is the larger one the one which is perpendicular about that the moment of inertia is the largest one and that is sum of the two moment of inertia about the axis those axes which are in the plane as diameter so you cannot change them please remember this this is the highest one which is independent normal to the plane now with this we have a very good applications which we are supposed to know this disk we have done one calculation and by integration calculation we come to know that the moment of inertia of this disk disk moment of inertia about this axis which is the natural axis passing through center of mass and perpendicular to the plane the moment of inertia for this is half m r square r is the radius m is the mass this but we want to find out moment of inertia of this disk and that about this axis we want to find out that if we rotate it about this axis in this rotation this way then how much will be the moment of inertia of this disk to calculate that what we do we make two axes in the plane one is this axis we draw another axis which is normal to this and we create that situation in this situation we write by theorem of perpendicular axis iz is equal to ix plus iy and here because it is a symmetrical shape x and y can be interchanged this way or this way does not make any difference so due to symmetry i x i x is equal to i y therefore i z is equal to twice i x or i z we know half m r square half m r square is equal to 2 ix therefore ix is equal to 1/4 mr square so this is the moment of inertia of a disk about its diameter this we calculated with help of this theorem so this is application of this theorem this is parallel this is perpendicular axis theorem and now in the next lecture we will see what is 
parallel axis theorem and that will help us to find about other axis than this. Thank you.